Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and if you've been watching my channel recently, you may have seen my Halloween last minute activities just yesterday, and you may have seen um, maybe a little bit ago about Halloween treats that are do-it-yourself, and then I also did last week a really cool experiment in the kitchen that you can do with items that you already have. That was so much fun that I thought I would show you another one today with a Halloween twist. This one I found off of Bits and Giggles. I'll link the website down below so you can go check out her blog. And it is a really cool experiment using just a few more materials that you do have in your kitchen. For this experiment, all you're gonna need is an empty water bottle, some vinegar, about a half a cup, baking soda, one tablespoon, a balloon, a little Sharpie marker to write on the balloon, a small funnel, and then you may also want a measuring cup and a measuring spoon. Now the measurements for the vinegar and the baking soda should be exact. If not, you may end up with an experiment explosion on your hands and I'll tell you why in a second. So in order to prep for this activity, I filled up the one half cup of vinegar into my empty bottle and then I put a little ghost face on my balloon with my Sharpie marker. Next, take your balloon and put it on the funnel so that you can put the one tablespoon of baking soda inside. Once you have the baking soda all inside, you can take the balloon and put it on the mouth of the water bottle, but be sure not to spill any of that baking soda into the vinegar or else it might ruin the experiment. When you're ready and all eyes are on the balloon, go ahead and tip the balloon over so that all of that baking soda lands into the vinegar and watch your balloon expand magically. Okay, so it's not really magical. There is science behind this and if your child's interested, you can talk about how when you combine baking soda and vinegar, it makes carbon dioxide. And we all know that carbon dioxide is what we breathe. So it's the carbon dioxide that's actually filling up the balloon and inflating it. Just like we would if we were to fill up the balloon with our air when we blow into it. Because of the carbon dioxide the baking soda and the vinegar make, you want to make sure that you use the appropriate amounts because it could overinflate the balloon and cause a really big explosion. If you want that, then I'd highly recommend you go outside for this one. Click subscribe to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and have a great Halloween. We have in our house. This one's a lot of fun. It's all about counting and it has these cards in it where you match up all the numbers. If you're into